بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم ما بعد ما يقينين ما بي ذا جريتس ديسبشن اي بيرسون ورشبس ذيم سيلف وات اي توك اوف دنيا اي ديسبشن اي نو ات اول اي جوت ات كفرد اف كفرد اول انجلز ليف ات تو مي اي ام ذا مين اي ويل سورت ات اوت اي نو ات اول سو بارت اوف حب الدنيا از حب النفس where you love yourself so much a person becomes blind of their love for themselves that they obliterate and wipe out everything around them that they think is not beneficial but eventually is harmful and detrimental to themselves and that was a dawa and the proclamation of iblis ana khairum minhu I am I am it's me the man so the pride it can make an angel a devil and humility makes a person a simple ordinary person into an angel likewise the previous nations used the word also me man ashaddu minna quwwa We've got the power, we've got the strength, we've got the weapons, we've got the artillery. I have it under control. Firaun, ana rabbukum al-a'la. I. So we need to learn to take this me, I out of our equation in life. As they say the code goes, pride is a mask of one's own fault. and it comes before the fall it comes before the fall there's a difference between who's right and who was and what is right there's a big difference between who's right and what is right most of the time when we fight and we argue we want to be right so we're not looking at what is the right thing but who should be right in this situation that's why they say no one ever choked or picked up weight by swallowing their pride no one ever choked or picked up weight by swallowing their pride so a person is worried about himself so much so that he compromises his parents his brothers his sisters his family no one else is important in his life except himself and a great risk is the people of deen those that have been endowed with the bounty and the nirmat of ilm malana ilyas used to say that me be more careful in particular about the nurani hijab the parda the veil of light compared to the light of of the compared to the veil of darkness a veil of darkness is understood to be dark and it's visible visible and is vivid but the hijab of noor the veil of light a person presumes that he is on haq and he is doing the right thing and he is following quran and hadith but sometimes it's his own nafs and sometimes in the name of deen when one is doing wrong he justifies his wrong through deen like there was one student used to always miss fajr salat with the jamaah so somebody asked him that does that you know you need to read salat in the masjid takbir ula safi ula what's happening why are you always late for salat and making qada so he said there's nothing wrong what you talking about i'm making an amal on hadith i'm making an amal on sunnah so the person asked what what you talking about He said, "Don't you know of the hadith Laylatu Ta'aris when Nabi Ali sallallahu wa sallam and sahaba overslept and they made Salatul Fajr with jamaat qada." So that salat was made qada so I'm making every day qada making amal and sunnah na'udhu billah. One person was outside the masjid blasting the sound system. So an old man came and said Oh my youngster this is completely wrong. Okay, you are saying it is haram accepted but if you want to do it at least don't do it outside the masjid. Go somewhere else. 
He said, Chacha, old man, what are you talking about? This is a Barkat sound system. This is a Barkat sound system. I bought it in Hajj from Medina Munawara, from the Mubarak city. You don't know what a Barkat sound system I got. So this Nurani Hijab, we have to be very careful about that. Sometimes we talk, we give advice. It's very easy. But how much is in my life? Malana Tani used to say that speak about the weakness in you. We are filled with flaws. We'll be questioned on the day of Qiyamah. That's why even before, during, after, there should be that ihsas, that awareness. One scholar gave a powerful Juma lecture and uh, when he came back home, he was waiting for lunch, no lunch. Asked the wife, what happened today, Juma? Mashallah, he's supposed to make something nice. Nothing, water only. So she said, Mashallah, you gave such a powerful bayan. I realized that the bayan was in Sadaqah. You gave such a powerful bayan. I realized, you know what, the lunch that we're having today, we're looking forward to that. If we give that in Sadaqah, how much reward we will get? And how many needy people out there haven't had this food? So what are you talking? The bayan was for the majma, not for us. Bayan was for the majma, not for us. So that's why when a person has their own opinion and they feel they right, and I know what's happening, and I got it con under control, then for a person to leave Deen is very easy. For them to abandon Deen is very easy. Overnight people out of Farda. We are self-opinionated. We justify our wrongs. I'm doing this because of this year or because of this year. Or don't question me about it. Or go tell somebody else. We're not ready to listen in the first place. So this Anna, me, we need to get it out of our systems. Man Sayyid Khan Sahib used to say, if the world would apply the akhlaq of Habib Najjar Surah Yasin, as an incident mentioned, he said, there wouldn't have been so many disputes and arguments in the world. He was doing good, saving his people from the destruction of dunya and akhirat. And in their mind, the people thought so, they were correct. But this person was saving them from destruction. What did they do? They beat him to death. Some narrations, they pelted him to death. And what did he say? وَجَاءَ مِنْ أَقْسَى الْمَدِينَةِ رَجُلُ يَسَى قَالَ يَا قَوْمِ اتَّبِعُوا الْمُرْسَلِينَ Follow these Anbiya, change your way of life, come unto Deen. They killed him. He didn't put blame on anybody else, but he blamed the fault of the people not accepting him on himself. What is wrong with me? So he attributed the flaws to himself. And then when he was killed, Ya layta qawmi ya'lamoon bima ghafara li rabbi wa ja'alani min al-mukramin If only people knew what bounties I'm in. So according to Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu anhu that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala removed all the difficulties of this person and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored him in Akhirat with Jannah. And it, Allah SWT said, Enter Jannah, فَدَخَلَهَا حَيًّا يُرْزَقُ فِيهَا And Allah SWT entered him into Jannah and he was enjoined, in, enjoined the bounties of Jannah. And then he mentioned these words. So this pride and this, this arrogance and this me. They say pride is always the longest distance between two people. The Muhammad used to say that most of the arguments and debates and conflicts in the world emanate due to pride. 
If both parties are humble, we'll find a resolution in a solution. But in a pride and arrogance, then no solution will be found. But this problem will be exacerbated. So when a person's got a mizaj of sacrifice and the mindset that I am nothing, they will progress. When I am something, you will retrogress. When I am nothing, you will progress and everybody around you will progress. When I'm something, you will be destroyed and you will destroy everybody else around you. See, a mother duck was with a ducklings and they were on their way to the lake and uh, all of a sudden the mother duck saw a fox in the distance. So she was frightened, so she indicated to the children to hurry to the lake. They rushed while the mother began to walk slowly, dragging her one wing onto the ground. So the fox became happy. He thought, it seems that she's injured, I'll catch her easily. So he ran to attack her. And as he came close, the mother duck ran and flew to the lake and joined her ducklings. So she was unharmed and her children were also protected. The fox tried to come close to the river, but he could not come in and they swam away. So they were saved. This mother was ready to sacrifice herself for her children. We need to learn to sacrifice ourselves for the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a person gives sacrifice, they will become humble. We give sacrifice for dunya, we will get pride. So dunya is like that. Once a person in part, حُبُّ الدُّنْيَا رَأْسُ كُلِّ خَتِئًا Part of the love of dunya is love for oneself. Not loving oneself enough to strive for akhirat, but loving oneself so much that we compromise on our akhirat. That's why Lama Bu'itha Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam attacked Iblis Abu Umam al-Bahili radiallahu anhu saying that when Nabi alayhi salam was sent, Iblis came to his army and he said قَدْ بُعِثَ نَبِيٌ That special Nabi has been sent, his Ummat will come. قَالَ يُحِبُّونَ الدُّنْيَا Do they love dunya? قَالُوا نَعَمْ Yes. قَالَ لَإِنْ كَانُوا يُحِبُّونَهَا مَا أُبَالِي أَلَّا يَعْبُدُ الْأَوْثَانِ If they love dunya, I'm not perturbed or worried if they don't worship idols. وَنَغْضُوا عَلَيْهِمْ وَعَرُوهُ and I will strive to get this dunya in their hearts, self-worship, worship of things, worship of commodities, worship of cars, worship of clothing. المال من غير حقه Number one, they will strive to get wealth and they will not worry about the source of that wealth. Whether it's halal or haram, they will not bother about it. وَإِنْفَاقْ فِي غَيْرِ حَقِّهِ And then, if they're not worried about where they acquired, they will spend this wealth in places where it's not supposed to be used. They will use it in avenues of haram. And number three, they will not spend it in the places where they should be. وَالشَّرْ كُلُّهُ لِهَذَا تَبْعٌ And when they engage in these three, evil will follow them. A person came to Ali ibn Abi Talib and said, Ya Amir al-Mu'mineen, sif lana dunya Describe for us dunya. وَقَالَ وَمَا أَسِفُ لَكَ مِنْ دَارٍ مَنْ سَحَّ فِيهَا مَا أَمِنَ How can I describe to you a house? Whoever is healthier is still not protected. وَمَنْ سَقِمَ فِيهَا نَدِيمَ And whoever is ill, he still has regrets. وَمِنْ افْتَقَرَ فِيهَا هَزِنَ And whoever has poverty, he's still grieved and in sorrow. وَمِنْ اسْتِغْنَا فِيهَا فَتَنَ And a person who is wealthy is still tempted, enticed and beguiled in this dunya. فِي حَلَالِهَا الْحِسَابِ وَفِي حَرَامِهَا الْعَذَابِ in the halal, there's hisab kitab. You have to account to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
and in the haram there is adab and punishment. So no matter how much a person is toiling and striving and going through the hardships of dunya, its end is وَآخِرُهَا fana. It's still going to be in destruction. It will terminate. So Malik bin Dinar Rahmatullah you say اِتَّقُوا sahara. Be very careful of the grand magician. Who's the grand magician? يَعْنِي الدُّنْيَا This world فَإِنَّهَا تَسْحَرُوا قُلُوبَ الْعُلَمَاء Because this dunya is so strong and such a powerful magician it can even entice the ulama. So we have to be careful of dunya and this perception of me and myself. But the mizaj of deen is I'm ready to sacrifice myself for Allah, for my Nabi and for deen so that mankind can benefit, not sacrifice others for our own benefit. So there was a husband, he said, honey, why are you wearing your wedding ring on the wrong finger? She said, because I married the wrong man. I married the wrong man. So everything is about hatred and animosity. They make a joke, they say, why are married women overweight compared to single women? Those women that are not married. They say, single women come home, see what's in the refrigerator and go to bed. But married women come home, see what's in the bed and go to the refrigerator. So even in, 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 in the normal world, marriage is regarded as something which is a, a dreadful, a, a, a punishment, where it is not like that. So what is our perception and thoughts, but what's the reality? It's two different things. They say in Canada there was a very bad winter, uh, homes were cut off from civilization, there were snowdrifts, and in a remote area, three months with no contact with the outside world, there was a family who people were searching for. So the Red Cross came on a rescue mission and uh, it was many weeks before the team reached the cabin and the cabin was submerged in snow. So the rescuers, they managed to succeed in hacking out a path in front of the door cabin. So not knowing what would happen, they just knocked on the front door and the man, the father came to the door and the, the, the team leader said, Red Cross. So he was expecting the man to be very happy, elated and you saved us and hug him. And so the father said, sorry, it's been a very tough winter. I don't think we can give anything this year. I don't think we can give anything this year. So Dean will teach us which page we should be on. Others will be on the wrong page, trying to strive for dunya, our movement in Harkat will be for dunya and we'll be fighting. He said there was a father who gave his three-year-old son pocket money. So he said, I'll give you two pence a week. When you save them up, you put it in this yellow box. Then when you got five, I'll swap them for a 10 pence coin. You put it in the blue box. And when you've got five of those, I'll swap it for a 50 pence coin and then you can put it in the red box. This 50 pence coin, put it in the red box. So they say it was only 12 years later where this boy discovered that the red box was the gas meter. The red box was the gas meter. You think so you're collecting and you're building and you're acquiring, but when the angel of death comes, we will realize we've got nothing. So we need to see our niyat. Why has Allah sent me in this world? And what is my motive? You see, there was a wife. She told the husband, do you love me just because my father left me a fortune? Do you love me? Because my father left such a huge fortune. The husband said, not at all, darling. I would love you no matter who left you the money. I would love you no matter who left you the money. Tamal for today, Nabi alayhi salam has encouraged us in the time of fitness to go off the grid. This is Mu'az bin Jabal radiallahu an was met by Umar radiallahu anhum and asked him, Ma yubkika? Why are you in tears? Said the hadith of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, al-yasiru min al-riyah shirk. Even a little show is shirk. 
ascribing partners with Allah. Me, me is shirk as well. Woman ada awliya Allah faqad baraz Allah bil muharaba. And whoever has animosity and confronts the friend of Allah, they have declared war with Allah. Wa inna Allah yuhibbul abrara. Allah loves the pious. Al itqiya, the muttaqi, the scrupulous. Al akhfiya, those people that are low profile, undercover, staying far away. And when the fitness come, they stay far away from the fitness. They are in the mountains, they are out of the cities. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq of making amal. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.